RuneScape is a massively multiplayer medieval fantasy RPG with a huge variety of skills to hone and places to explore. Smithing chainmail, mining gold, baking cakes, slaying goblins, crafting jewellery, casting spells, catching fish, running, trading, making friends, buying a GF, it's all here! It's one of the only MMOs I can think of that isn't completely based around combat. My little brother used to enjoy exclusively training his cooking skill and baking cakes. Combat was boring to him, but he didn't need to partake in it, and that was great. Of course, a high combat level is helpful if you want to go to certain dangerous areas, but the freedom to exist as a citizen of this landscape, and not just one of infinite legendary heroes, was something not a lot of other MMOs provide. Not all MMOs treat you like a legendary hero, but you basically have to be killing rats and spiders at some point. I mean, why else would you play a medieval-based fantasy? Well, it's been a while since I've played. I'm sure they've added a bunch of new stuff. Maybe even advanced the graphics some more. Could be interesting. I'm gonna press the button to press the button to pre- I'm gonna press the button to play! Huh? What? What is that? What is this? Where- Where am I? What is- I don't understand! I just- Holy shit! What happened? That feels like this is crossing some sort of line. This is more change than I can deal with. It's like I'm playing a totally new game. The last time I played the game, Dungeoneering was new, which was over half a decade ago, so I shouldn't be surprised, I guess, but what an overhaul! Wow, dude, it's completely different. They got everything, everything is way better. Like, I was expecting, like, maybe the textures increased a little bit, a few rocks here and there, but no! I don't know anything here! I'm sure it's as great as it always was, likely a lot better, but that's that's too much new stuff to take in at all, all at once. Part of the reason MMOs have leveling systems in them is so that you can get gradually introduced to all the mechanics, items, and abilities, so that when you're finally at max level, you understand everything. Jumping into this with my old character, I'm totally lost. I barely recognize where I am. Luckily, though, for idiots like me, Jagex have graciously created and maintain a bunch of legacy servers, which are identical to the game as it was in 2007. And I started the game in 2006, so that's basically exactly the perfect. I mean, look at the difference in quality of graphics here. You can see why I was overwhelmed. You know, one thing I'm noticing immediately is that in the new RuneScape, they've got, like, various new expansions coming out and stuff, and there's, like, at the moment, it's like a desert thing. It doesn't feel like a RuneScape opening. This feels like a RuneScape opening. This hypes me up. You've got the fire, you've got the runes appearing in the fire. The fire changes color. It's got a sword. It's like a dark, cool tunnel. I don't like games that have like a big, too many fucking tabs to open and, and news articles and things about what's new, what's new, look, look, look at all this stuff, look at all this stuff that's going on. A uh, new uh, promotion, new expansion. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I just want to see a thing that says press play or log in. Something like this is is all you need. Anyway, let's let's get into it. Man, this is the shit. This is the real deal. This is my big happy favorite. This was my very first MMO as well. I mean, unless you count Club Penguin, I guess that also qualifies. But this is the first one I actually sunk my life into. Every day after school, fucking RuneScape. I would play it until I was dead. And now I'm alive again. Now for these legacy servers, my original account won't work because it likely has items that wouldn't exist yet. So I gotta make a brand new one, and since this game takes a long time to progress, I don't really have the time to get to a point where my original character was. So if I don't have footage to go along with what I'm saying, you'll just have to imagine it. Maybe I'll put a, a, an image up on screen from someone else. But uh, you know, this, this, is what, this is what I gotta work with. I gotta make like a million videos this month. So, you begin by making your character and... Oh, oh man. Tutorial Island, dude. Ah, oh, the music. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, this game's so good. Oh, I really remember my school days, man. Those were the days. Well, they weren't really the days, but this was the game that I played. Oh, look at all the... the, the, the 
it's, it's all it's all old and I remember it. Oh my god! It is it gives it head out of head. Oh. Okay, so once you complete the tutorial, you go to Lumbridge, which is the oh man, oh man, oh the goblins, oh the ducks. Look at those ducks. Look at that shitty water. Look at that shitty water. I love it. Ten out of ten. Now the cool thing about this game is that you're not on a specific path. There is no definitive end game besides what you set for yourself. Other MMOs copy the World of Warcraft formula of get gear to kill guys to get gear to kill guys to get gear, where everything revolves around combat and the world is just there to facilitate it. If you watched my video on World of Warcraft where I rambled about uh, how the world is only interesting the first time and you have no reason to go back after you've leveled through it, well, in RuneScape, there is no real leveling through an area. Every area is just a place, and you can do so many different things, so many different skills, that there is no real progression. You can just walk to the very edge of the wilderness and then walk all the way back. If you follow the road, you'll be fine, you know? It's not really a game of leveling up and moving on. You learn the layout of these places so well because there's... you just keep coming through them. It's just a town in a place, and a place in a land, and a land in escape, and a ruin in a place. And, uh, that's why I like like RuneScape's world. It's just a medieval fantasy setting, and you're here to do whatever you please. It's almost like a sandbox game in that respect. Like I said, my little brother used to play, he only wanted to bake cakes, so he leveled up his cooking skill, and he cooked, and he cooked, until he could bake cakes, and he made a bunch of cakes, and that was it. That was his RuneScape adventure, and he liked it. And that's such an unfortunately rare thing. A game where you can really choose your own adventure. A role-playing game. Every aspect of the game, every skill you can learn, is fully fleshed out, interesting, unique, and is deeply connected to the world, characters, quests. Nothing feels like it was thrown in there. And there are a lot of skills to learn. So many, in fact, that it's basically encouraged that you focus on only a few at a time, and they're designed so certain skills complement other skills. And my favorite part about it is that you can do everything on one character. You're not forced to choose a class and a profession. You can make a character and do every single thing in the game. And it works well because there's no race selection either. Every player is just a human and everything they become as a character is stuff they decided to do in the game. Imagine if you could play as a dwarf and you got bonuses in mining or, or something. Every single dwarf would feel like they had to mine because it would be the most efficient way to gather that resource and make money. And every other race wouldn't really be able to compete. The lack of specialization in RuneScape forced on the player makes everything feel like it's open to you and you might naturally specialize in a skill or combat style that you prefer, which is how it should be. In a fantasy game world, you shouldn't really have to consider what race to choose in order to do your favorite thing because they have bonuses. Imagine liking elves and choosing an elf character which has a bonus with archery, but you don't like the archery system, so you don't use it. And even if your other combat skills aren't impaired, it feels like you're shooting yourself in the foot by not going down the optimal path. In RuneScape, you, you don't have that, so it's good. And another good thing about the world in RuneScape is that the quests are all realistic things that you would do in an RPG. And when I say RPG, I don't mean what you expect from an RPG today in a video game where you just kill things in XP and blah, blah. What I mean by RPG is role-playing game. These quests are dynamic and interesting with characters that have things that you have to read. You have to read what the character is talking about, and the only way to start the quest is to find the character in question and talk to them, and then choose the dialogue option that leads to them asking you for help. It's not like you go up to a guy, you know he has a quest, you click on him, you don't read anything, you accept the quest, and then a little thing pops up on your map. In RuneScape, you talk to a guy for a minute because you feel like it, and then it turns out he has a quest for you, and then it gets added to your quest log, and the only thing in your quest log is what that guy has told you. There is no guidance. You have to think about it. If that guy says, oh yeah, go north along the road and go west to find some of the thing that you're looking for, you have to remember, oh yeah, go north along the path and then west. You have to find it yourself, and it's great. It's just, it, it makes you think. The thing I love about that is that the rewards can be so much more impressive and, and useful than a, a quest in World of Warcraft because you have to put a little thought into it. So the rewards are bigger and there are less quests in general. And one quest could be like a really long, arduous task 
that would have you going between kingdoms, talking to people, finding information, talking to librarians to get knowledge about an ancient special sword, and you have to go talk to a guy to, to get the thing to smith it, and you gotta, you gotta, it's, it's like, the quest feels like what you would imagine a quest to be, and not what you would imagine a small task to be which is what quests seem to have become in games like World of Warcraft and everything copying World of Warcraft. Sometimes in, a, in World of Warcraft, you get a quest to go over to talk to a guy about another quest, and that's a quest, you get a bit of experience. It doesn't feel like anything happened. It's stupid. You know, I fully expected playing this old version of RuneScape would show me that it's not good, and that I don't like it anymore, and that I only liked it because nostalgia. But I'm actually really engrossed. I feel like sinking days into this. I want to slowly level up my smithing and, and make armor and sell it on the Grand Exchange. I want to complete all the free quests. I want to grind all the free skills. I want to grind? How can this not be nostalgia talking? I hate grinding. I never like doing monotonous tasks over and over again to get to a goal. Why do I not hate the idea of grinding in RuneScape? Well, the answer may surprise you. Click more to fucking continue to watch the video. Don't click, actually. Don't click. That's not bad for you. The game is slow as fuck. Leveling up anything takes an eternity. The idea of hitting maximum level in any skill is a testament to your perseverance and is worthy of respect. You even get a cool cape so that people can stare in awe at your majesty. Walking is tedious and running stamina runs out very quickly. Mining areas are always pretty far from furnaces, and furnaces are often very far from anvils, making smithing anything a long, arduous process. Your inventory is small, and you have to keep going back to the bank to load things off if you're collecting resources. Now this all may seem like a bunch of bullshit, but this all results in a very specific game feel that ends up being really engaging. It forces you to strategize. RuneScape stops being a mindless grinding sim, and for many people is a source of intense puzzle solving. A strangely rich, fulfilling brain exercise. So many things come into play when strategizing the time you spend playing RuneScape. Spreadsheets are formed, exchange rates on the Grand Exchange are researched, lists upon lists of autistic number crunching to come up with the most time-efficient, profitable set of actions to perform, to get uh, some money and more experience in uh, something. Through its unbelievable tedium emerges a whole different game that is very engaging and fun. And I know it sounds ridiculous, but I think that's what I've always loved about RuneScape, even back in the day. How many seconds does it take to walk from the bank in Lumbridge to the nearest furnace? Uh, too long. Bank of Alcarid is closer. They're, Use that for smelting ores. In um, Alcarid, which bank is closest to a mine? The one in too much east of Falador is easily quicker to get But there are a lot of dangerous scorpions down there, so you need to get down up level. Definitely, they want to stand back while I was with the steel bars in the other bank. What should we make? We need a bit more experience to level up. We need to get a bit more experience to level up. You get the idea. It's very planning intensive. It's like the feeling I get when playing Sudoku or chess or Professor Layton. All because walking is so goddamn slow that you waste so much time by even being slightly inefficient with where you go to do anything. And even after you make your plan, there may be a lot of competition in the area where you are planning on mining or fishing, and the rarer resources take longer to respawn, so you have to take the time of day into account, and also what server you're on, and how crowded it is, and how likely it is to be crowded, it's really intense, and I can totally understand people not feeling that as a reason why old school RuneScape is still good, but there it is. That's the appeal to me, and also the nostalgia, but I, I really only understood all this because I've never enjoyed grinding in video games, except in RuneScape, and maybe a little in World of Warcraft because that's also tedious, though not to the same degree, and I think that'll do it for this video. I could talk about a lot of the things RuneScape does right, um, but... I... I can't make a big video, dude. This is... this is Igmavo Tuidich, sorry, Igmavo Tuidich. I've got to be making a million videos this month. This has to be done in one day. I'm gonna stop right now. But, um... I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you... I hope you... I hope you blew your mind. Maybe that's... Maybe you realize why you liked RuneScape back in the day. Maybe you are like... Maybe you like spreadsheets and, and planning as well. Or maybe... Just maybe... I'm insane. And making spreadsheets and lists for RuneScape grinding purposes and strategizing time spent is very, very weird, and nobody even knows why I would even think of doing that, but, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm dumb.
But, uh, you know, maybe if you enjoy intense planning and spreadsheets, you'll enjoy RuneScape as well. Give it a shot. The only problem is, as an adult, I don't have time for such time-intensive games anymore. Uh, maybe this will be my, my podcast game. I'll play this when I'm listening to a podcast. That'll be good. Alright, see ya.